Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the podcast. Uh, if you're a veteran listener or if you're new to the to the podcast or we're recording these and we put these on YouTube too, uh, either way, welcome if you're new uh, to Hans's uh, training or the podcast. So um, we have Hans here, obviously, with us. So without him, there will be no show. <laughs> Uh-huh. Without you, there will be no show. <laughs> so it's funny I say that. Man, we have Hans here. Of course, we have Hans here. Uh, today, oh, we, there's Hans. We, yeah, there's, <laughs> we came around empty chair. <laughs> uh, today, we're going to talk about <coughs> e-collars. Um, it's a it's a topic, obviously, that might. Uh, ruffle some feathers but Hans is not here to ruffle feathers Hans is here to explain uh, his reasoning for, oh. for things so yeah oh, um, me I, sick. I, you know like uh, <clears throat> I always making jokes that I would write to write series of books with one page or one sentence right mm -hmm. and uh, and so uh, the one one sentence book on e-color would be would be uh, what do you think about e-collars, right? You would ask me like you just yeah. did, and I will, and the, the, you will open the book, and it says, "I don't have one." Yeah, right. I don't. I don't have one. I yeah. used to. I used to train with e-collars. I understand how it's done. Yeah. I don't want to people tell me you don't know what. Yeah. You know, I've done it. That. You yeah. Know, yeah. Which is good to say right <laughs> off the bat. I mean, people are listening. Right. It's the not problem. Like I. You know. Um. When you train the dog, you know, you, you, you have, diff again, I'll, I say it again, you, you have different reasons for the training, right? Personally, I want the dog <clears throat> to listen to me because he works for me and with me. You've heard me say that many yes, times. Yes, huge, yeah. If you put an e-collar on the dog, the dog is not listening for you, to you, because... He's here with, doing it for you or with you. He's doing it because he has an e collar on his neck. And that's my fundamental problem. I want the dog to listen to me because I like to have a relationship with the dog. You do it because I want you to be on the same page as I am and I want you yeah. know and I want you to to listen to me. Now there's many reasons why uh uh E collars are used, you know, uh, increase yeah. the precision of the training for competition, yeah. avoidance training or aversion or other training yeah. uh, for, let's say, snake proofing. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, I'm sure there's some other reasons, yeah. you know. And, uh, you know, so let's say, if you, you know, but, but the problem is... The biggest problem I have with e-collar is that the dog is not doing it because I said so, because of me, because we are, yeah, you know, we are in some kind of a, a relationship, and I'm yeah. putting things between me and the dog, and if a the filter, if, like more, yeah, filter, like a, yeah. right, and if yeah. that thing is not there, that filter, you know, that collar is not there. Even so, the dog is uh, conditioned. He. Uh, uh, Eventually, the conditioning will extinguish itself. It will extinction, go Extinction, they call it, right? Extinct, yeah. 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 Extinction. Yeah. Or extinction. And so, uh, where if I'm there and dog does things for me, yeah, then uh, yeah, then the uh, then the uh, uh, I'm always there, right? Yeah. Okay. So, 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 so now. If you, let's say, so would I, when I, if I would train dog, let's say for competition, right? Yeah. What I would do, and I would first make sure the dog listens for me and with me, work him in dr out of drive, right? And all that. And then I would, and then when I establish that um, uh, default, I will, I, you can you, you can you can sharpen up with toys and treats. Yeah, sharpen it, but not. But only after yeah. you teach the dog to work for you and with you. Yeah, yeah. And then you and after that you can accentuate it with the e collar, mm -hmm. right? If that's what you want to do for competition. Yeah. But you laid the foundation. Though. But I laid the foundation yeah, so the, the dog is working for yeah. me with me. That is the default. Yeah. 
So that way, if I use eColor, the dog yeah. is still doing it for me and with me. And I can just communicate to the dog better on distance, for example, let's say hunting dogs. Dog is yeah. way 100 yeah. yards away from me, right? Yeah. And, and I can communicate to him what I want him to do, right? Because the influence over the dogs from the handler to the dog uh, decreases with quarter of the distance. Yeah. <coughs> so in other words, if the distance increases two times, your influence yeah. is diminished four times. Okay. Right? So distance does that, and especially yeah, with hunting. You, right, you're right. Dealing so with, you have a dog yeah, way out there. Yeah. And you want the dog to respond to you on long distance. Yeah, yeah. Now, what did people do before the e-collar? Yeah, that's the question. <laughs> right? They, you can do it without e-collar. Yeah. And that's how I like to do it. Yeah. I'm kind of Luddite that way, right? You know, Luddites were... Yeah. Right? And, and but now, but the, 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 it takes more time and it's it's more difficult, but... Because it takes more time, it's more difficult. I build a better relationship with the dog. So we are more part of the team. It's kind of like an oak tree with the root system going deep. It takes longer, but 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 ultimately it's a stronger tree. Right. Right. I mean, right. that's the if, if somebody, if you guys are not fully understanding what Hans is saying, maybe think of that. It's, it takes longer for that root to develop. Right. But man, that tree is strong. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, so it's like when people are, <clears throat> feeding a really um, very nutritious diet, you know, or, or you, for, let, you know, let's put it this way. We talk about that. Which is an analogy. Hans is uh, trying to give uh, an analogy. Uh, uh, you, you, have a, you have a tree in a nursery and you fertilize it. Yeah. It grows fast, but you got to put a stake next to it because it's keep bending, right? Because it grew too fast and the wood is not mature, so it's soft. Yeah. Right? The same tree in the woods which is not fertilized to grow fast will be nice and strong. It takes longer time, yeah, but, but it's nice and yeah. strong. Same yeah. way when you're training the dog without e-collar and doing more difficult thing. Yeah. First of all, you need to know more, requires more skill and it takes longer. Yeah. So it's not McDonald's. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's an expensive franchise yeah. around when it takes them. Yeah few hours to yeah. prepare the meal right yeah. yeah yeah okay yeah but the meal is better right yeah at least i think so of yeah. course most american may think Mac big mac is better than no there's there's there's, <laughs> there's difference between uh <laughs> the, yeah. the good chefs and right the, right yeah. so so i like to spend the time it's part of the deal it's 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 yeah. you know and all that if you want to keep popping up dogs and e-collar and all that you know, same thing with outing the dog, right? Yeah. Uh, police, you know, there's police departments who train the dogs with e-collars and the dog has to have an e-collar on all day when they're on the duty. What happens when it fails? What about if the battery goes dead or whatever? Now we are screwed, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I, I'm kind of minimalist as far as dog training goes. So I want to have as few things between me and the dog as possible. I understand the benefits yeah. of e-collar, for example, for the snake proofing, yep. the aversion training, yeah. or for hunting where I want to control the dog, which uh -huh. is 100, 200 yards away from me, some yeah. bird dog or whatever. Great technology for those things. I think it's awesome right. for that. But it would be much better if I can control that dog 200 yards away from me just with my voice without e-collar. Personally, yeah. I think so. Yeah. It may take me half a year longer to do that, People hunted. <laughs> yeah, people have done it before, yeah. Yeah. and it worked, yeah. you know? Yeah. And yes, we can get more precision and more for competition with e-collars yeah. and all that. You yeah. know, who want to get shocked, right? People say, well, we stimulate the dog. Yeah, you know, stim, you know, they call yeah. it stim. They don't it, even say stimulus. You know, uh, I, I watched a lot of YouTube videos before we got our first dog. And then during it, I'm trying to, you know, fumble my way through it. And I just, please, when you're listening to this, tell me. But I yet to see a video about talking about building relationship with your dog. Like what Hans is talking about. I just, I just well, don't find uh, it. it, it that's, what, that's my pet peeve, right? I'm just. And I don't, yeah. uh, you know, it, 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 it pains me, literally. Yeah. 
to see that people worry about obedience as some kind of a like how transmission works, right? Mechanics yeah. of it. Yeah. Right. You do this, and this is yeah. Kind of what happened. I want to. I want. I want. I want another dog. You remember? I remember that <laughs> there was this painting of this Indian. It was fantasy, you know. Yeah. But it was this Indian kind of sitting, leaning on a rock, and he had this wolf uh-huh. dog, kind of wolfy looking dog next to him. Uh-huh. And you can see they were they were like a team, brothers, like yeah. a team, you know. Yeah. And that's what I want. I want you. Yeah. And it's possible. It's always how it was. Yeah. Until now, when we start scratching phones and all that, suddenly people forget that the dog and I are part of the team, part of the pack. If you enjoyed this content so far, please subscribe to our channel. Also, Hans has a podcast channel called Dog Training for Life. Check that out so you can listen to the audio version. Yeah. And uh, and I want people... Yeah. I would like to people understand that and try to establish that, you know, go camp with the dog. In the, you know, I go camp. Uh, I haven't done it for a while. I need to, you know, overnight take a dog, build a fire, drive yeah. in there somewhere in the mountains, wait yeah. a heck away from everybody, yep. build a fire, yeah. you know, uh, cook some meals, split it with your dog, yep. some soup, you know, beef yep. soup or something, yeah. you know, and... Uh, Go to sleep, you know, tie your dog up, you know, tie it to, to something so he doesn't get himself in trouble through the night. Yeah. But I don't even bring a tent. I just throw a sleeping bag on the ground or a yeah. tarp. If I want to be real luxurious, I, I use tarp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you guys are sensing Hans as a minimalist. <laughs> yeah, and I, I just, and I'm there with the dog. And you completely built such a different relationship. You can never get that with e-collar on some golf uh, i mean on some football field you know when you practice for competition yeah i i told this to someone recently a group of guys actually and and they were just like listening to what i said of what you said about this you know go camp with the dog you know cook a meal share the meat you know and they were like one of the guys says yeah it just makes sense right that's what he said but who does it (laughs) yeah and you know what i recommended it to so many people i say go take that puppy and go camp up in the mountains. Yeah. But of course, just the camping for a lot of people is a terrifying thought, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but you know, you I know you go camping. I, I, yeah, yeah. And I took Irina. Uh, she she was two years old when we got her from from Hans at Jinnipo. and uh, I went up and you know I took Kai the other dog with. I should have just taken her, but still, it was a good experience. I made a fire. We ate. You know, and uh, it was very cold night, but it doesn't matter. That's not the point, but I was there. That is the point. Yeah. Or, you suffer uh, together. You're yeah, cold, and, cold. You know, and uh, yeah. she sees you stressed out. And, yeah. yeah, that's part of it, yeah. being cold. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying you should do no, it on purpose, but yeah. But it's, it's going to start raining, you know. And, yeah. Oh, shit, my tent is leaking, or I yeah. don't have a tent. <laughs> yeah, but you're a team. You're, like, working. Yeah, you're, you're in it together. Yeah, yeah. And you've developed... You know, and and I know you said you bring, brought two dogs, but you know what? Take yeah. one. Yeah, I know. At least, one. you know, you can take two. Oh, okay. But yeah. now and then, just take one. One. Yeah. You know, take Yarina and take Kai. Yeah. yeah. You know, in separate times, and then you can take them together. Yeah. But yeah. but you cannot uh, get uh, when you are with, uh, yeah, with two, two dogs. Yeah. You cannot get what you yeah, get when you are one with one, one dog. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's like having. 10 children versus you go with right. that one. Right, like, right, right. Concept. That's exactly yeah. right. Yeah. And you know what? It's like, uh, imagine you go hiking with the dog yeah. and, and, and camping, like I'm just telling you, I have a campfire and, yeah. and have some hot dogs or meat or something, yeah. or so and split it with your dog. You're not, you're not doing it with a dog in drive with an e-collar on his neck. No. Right? No. That's not what that is about. Yeah. Now again, if you want to do e-collar and if it, you know, if you like the precision of the training and all that stuff, trust me, you can do it without e-collar. But if you want to do it with e-collar, that's fine. Yeah. Just make sure you don't miss the other opportunities. Yeah. You know, or or uh, you know, situations where you are with the dog out there, you know, yeah. overnight. Yeah. And not just not just uh, during the day, you know, just drive up and back. Just stay overnight. Yeah, stay. Several you know what? Maybe. 
it's such an experience. People home, uh, people these days are constantly being entertained by TV or something, yeah. right? Yeah. But if you go in the mountains and stay overnight, hey, it's dark at seven, eight o'clock in the evening, yeah. and you may be used to go to bed at eleven. Yeah. Now what? You're staring in that fire, right? Yep. Yeah. And then you just say, okay, I'm gonna go sleep and lay down and sleep. And then you wake up early, early in the morning yeah. because you're cold. Or the sun is you already know. hitting the tent or something yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah. or, or you cold. may wake up if you're unlucky because uh, uh, raindrops are hitting your face. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, yeah. and that's all part of it, Yeah. you know. And uh, you just, uh, what I'm trying to say, I'm not yeah. talking against e-colors. Yeah. I'm trying to make sure that you don't miss the amazing relationship you can have with the dog. Yeah. You yeah. know. Yeah. You know, which, uh, you know, there was this, I just watched yesterday this movie, Art of Racing in the Rain. Ever seen it? No. no. Oh, God. Yeah. It's about this race car driver who gets himself a golden retriever. Uh -huh. And it's all his life from the puppy all the way until the end, until uh -huh. the dog dies. Uh -huh. And that's what this is about, about living with the dog. There's a book on that too. Okay. But if you are not patient, I'll read 350 page book. At least watch that movie. Uh -huh. It's called Ar Art of Racing in the Rain. Rain, okay. Okay, interesting title. <laughs> well, the, yeah. if you watch it, it'll, it'll, it'll become clear. I'm not going to yeah. tell you. Yeah. You know, he's a race car driver and, uh -huh. uh, and, and, and he talks to his girlfriend. She asks him, is it dangerous when you're racing in the rain? And he explains her mm -hmm. how it, you know, which, you know, anyway, yeah. that's, that's what that's so, all about, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, uh, but it just, and so, so, you know, <clears throat> so yes, you know, once people get stuck on doing everything with e-car, I think they tend to forget that there's the much more, Yeah. you know. And and so that's what I would like people get out of this uh, yeah podcast yeah I think also tools rather than yeah it's not it's just, yeah you, you just can't buy tools and then magically they're gonna war or it's, 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 it's just I mean it's it's the wishful less thinking. you put between you and the yeah. dog yeah I'm talking e collars uh, toys uh, whatever yeah. treats yeah. Uh, whatever yeah better off you are yeah yeah more versatile your training is yeah you know more 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 uh um versatile i guess yeah, that's the word yeah, you know yeah. more, you know you know what do you do if the dog doesn't have an e-collar you know? yeah um, in, in i don't Han need an e-collar yeah hans's facebook group i mean he he, he people post sometimes these posts were like just recently, not long ago, that shepherd that took off after that deer. Yeah. Yeah. Like I had exactly the same experience, yeah, which yeah. you told in another podcast before. But you guys saw it, or you can see it in his in his group, in his Facebook group. But yeah, the, the woman, she the dog took off after deer. She said, "No, come, come," and dog yeah. came back. And I had exactly the same experience with my no e collar. Yeah, nothing. no e collar. Dog just came because I asked him to because we are a team. Yeah. We have the relationship, yeah. you know, and sometimes it's difficult to get the relationship when the dog is older and you're, it's kind of on the wrong path. Yeah. You know, so it's why it's important when you're buying a dog or getting a dog, which is older, uh, it is on the right path or you put him on the right path yeah. from the get go. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, yeah. because every relationship starts from day one. What I mean by that is, uh, as Carnegie says, uh, my favorite saying, you can only make one first, first impression, impression yeah. right? Yeah. Make sure that the one first impression is not a damn e collar, but you gain camping, yeah. so to speak, and yeah. literally. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Yeah. No. So there. Yeah. There is a. I hope I didn't uh, upset too many people. Uh, no, I think uh, I, uh, I might have. Whatever title you saw on, on YouTube when you saw it or in the podcast, uh, I just want to make sure that people, you know, watch it because it's a, it's a type of discussion that I just don't see happening. Is there any much. way you can yep. retrieve that video of that woman? Oh, we'll try to re put it put it on this podcast. Yep, yeah, I'm gonna try. 
uh, as we're recording here. So you might see this pop up, the video. I think I can do it. I can retrieve it. Yeah, because you know? I don't have my dog doing it. Yeah. But my dog did exactly exactly the, the same, same thing. thing. I yeah. mean, it's com- amazing. And I could tell from that video that that woman had a good relationship with that dog. dog. Oh, I was so happy and, when and, the and dog And the dog in. wasn't like, oh, going there, oh, going back. Yeah. Right? It was just like, she called him and he just made this, this smooth little circle yeah, and said, okay, back. mom, I'm coming. Yeah. You know, it was perfect. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, uh, yeah, that's... That's why, like the separate, <coughs> so, like what Hans teaches is not, and and you guys, if you're new, if you're just listening right now, it, it's not on the field performance. This is everyday life. So that's we yeah, gotta live make with it. The dog. Don't forget to live with the dog. Yeah. So, you know, you can train it all sorts of weird stuff. Yeah, but but don't forget to live with the dog. Yeah, you know. Yeah. You know. Yeah, herding dog is a tool, and police dog is a tool. That doesn't mean you need to forget the, to live as the dog. 